10 animals that hate each other. Not all animals are considered as family. A few animals don't even like the sight of a few of the other animals. Just like we humans hate a few other humans due to a number of reasons. Similarly, animals also hold hatred against a few of the other animals. Therefore, these animals won't like the animals that they hate to live in their territory. So, today we are going to tell you about 12 animals that hate each other and can't even stand the sight of each other. Let's begin with our video right now. Tigers vs. Crocodiles Tigers and crocodiles were enemies of each other right from the time the planet Earth came into existence. Both of these animals are extremely dangerous and can be very attacking towards any of the creatures. Most of the time, these animals prefer to stay away from each other, but in the Indian subcontinent, the Bengal tigers and the Mugger crocodiles confront each other with a lot of passion and aggression. The Bengal tigers are famous for being extremely ferocious, while the Mugger crocodiles are very clever to the core. Thanks to their mud-colored skin, they blend in within the mud and camouflage themselves to catch their prey. Mostly, the crocodiles feast upon innocent deer. But, here we are talking about Bengal tigers versus mugger tigers. The two usually come across when the crocodile decides to leave the water and meet the tiger face to face. Sharks versus Dolphins Sharks are nearly on top of the food chain in the ocean and have indeed earned that right. They are fast hunters and work with the element of surprise, they are also ruthless and opportunistic killers which means they will kill and eat any animal that is weakened or very young. They have even been known to regularly prey on small dolphins and also sick ones. Dolphins may not have the powerful jaws of sharks or their ruthless temper, but they have numbers. Due to the fact that dolphins are very social animals and thus make a lot of friends, they all can use their numbers to their advantage and attack the shark with their noses, snouts, which ultimately drives the shark away from them. Dolphins are also generally far faster than sharks and can easily outswim them any day. Hippos versus Crocodiles Hippos and crocodiles are usually peaceful towards each other and barely get into confrontation, giving each other as much space as is needed. However, they do get into conflict in some cases like in this case where a hippo was killed and the crocodiles were about to advance towards the corpse and help themselves to it, but the relatives of the corpse weren't too sure of letting their deceased be treated like that so a battle ensued. Other cases show up during dry season when the water starts drying up so there's no much food to survive and enough space in this situation. Nobody is ever ready to compromise. Although crocodiles have the strongest bite force in the animal kingdom, a hippo can actually bite a crocodile in half in just one try. Honey badger versus killer bees. Despite the fact that it has the word honey appearing first, this little, furry creature is far from sweet. Known to be the size of a small dog, the honey badger is known to take on animals larger and seemingly more dangerous than it is. From venomous snakes to a lion, this dude has absolutely no chill. No wonder the Guinness Book of Records recognized it as the bravest animal in the animal kingdom. The killer bees earn their reputation for being very territorial and overprotective of their hives and are known to attack intruders with so much anger. Its bite doesn't really hurt more than regular bees, but their numbers make the difference as they have been known to take down opponents much bigger than them, even humans. The honey badger however has a thick fur coat so their stings do them no harm and they're also immune to a lot of venoms including the ones from their stings. Spider vs. Small Birds Regular garden spiders don't stand a chance against birds due to the size difference as the birds can just peck on them as a tasty snack. The situation however changes when much bigger monstrosities like the goliath bird eating spiders come to the scene having techniques that mostly gets the birds. Growing up to 25 centimeters from left leg to right leg, these huge spiders don't use webs like others do, in fact, what they do is much more grim. They pounce on them and administer a neurotoxin strong enough to incapacitate them while they enjoy their tasty meal. Another huge spider able to prey on birds is the golden orb spider which can actually spin webs tough enough to catch birds. Mongoose vs. Snakes 
It's going to take a whole lot of protection to be safe from a snake's venom, and a host of agility to avoid its sharp reflexes. Luckily the mongoose has that in abundance. Mongoose belong to a category of non-discriminatory predators which means if they can kill it, they can and will eat it which in some cases involves snakes. A snake strikes a mongoose with so much anger and agility, but is quickly deflected by its thick fur, and even if it manages to land a hit on the mongoose's unprotected area, they are generally immune to snake venom. We have receptors in our muscles that bind or attach itself to certain venoms, but a mongoose's muscle receptors block them, thus neutralizing their effects, leaving the mongoose eventually chowing down on them. Orcas vs Great White Sharks Commonly known as killer whales, orcas are not just known to kill great white sharks, they're also known to terrify them to the point where they become too scared to come back to that spot for a year. Orcas are very intelligent and social hunters capable of preying on anything they can get their jaws on, and have also been known to kill for fun sometimes. A great white shark will in most cases kill an orca on a one-on-one -on -one situation, but an orca pod can have up to 30 killer whales, leaving one of the most dangerous hunters in the sea powerless. Elephant vs Buffalo Elephant and buffalo hold a serious rivalry that can literally end in a dangerous fashion. On paper, you would say that elephant has the major advantage over a buffalo due to its humongous size which weighs about six times more than a buffalo. However, the fierce attitude of a buffalo would make it stand against the giant animal. Buffalo showcases great anger due to which sometimes the elephant is forced to back out. Nonetheless, most of the time, the elephant is not scared of anyone. An elephant is capable of picking an entire buffalo due to its heavy body. Cheetah vs Ostrich The rivalry becomes quite challenging due to the competition between the epic speeds of the two animals. Both the animals are so quick that you can compare them with bullets. The ostrich has a speed of 40 miles per hour that is a breeze. However, the speed is truly matchless to that of the speed of a cheetah, which is 75 miles per hour. It is the fastest animal that has ever breathed on Earth. This is insane. Nonetheless, having a solid speed, cheetah still finds real difficulty in defeating the ostrich. In terms of stamina, the ostrich is always a notch ahead, while a cheetah can be at its full speed for just a matter of minutes. So, a cheetah has to come with its friends in order to defeat an ostrich. Alone it won't be able to do much. Nature has made ostrich's leg in such a way that if it kicks the cheetah, the cheetah will have to face the consequences. Therefore, both of them hate each other. Zebra vs Lion The zebra is the favorite meal of the lions, and they are always looking to attack one to have some food ready. So, zebras always have to run for their life and save them from the consistent attacks of the lions. But nature has made zebras clever enough to defend themselves. It's not easy at all to catch a zebra, and a lion has to be really vigilant. Zebras are renowned to give a sharp kick on the heads of lions to escape. Hence, the lions sometimes get their jaws broken by this fearless act of zebras. So, due to this, the lions have to suffer starvation, and in extreme cases, they even lose their lives.